Welcome to Free to Cook. In this episode, we're going to be cooking buttermilk fried chicken on a kettle barbecue. There's nothing quite like beautifully cooked fried chicken from the crunchy breading to the juicy tender meat, it'll warm anybody's heart. Fried chicken is pretty easy to make, but it will take some time to prep. I'm cooking this recipe on the barbecue simply because it looks cool for these videos. So you can cook this in the kitchen on the stovetop. To start off, you will need a whole chicken cut into eight pieces. Season with salt and pepper. I'm using GFresh's great range of dried herbs and spices. Then add one tablespoon of sweet paprika, followed by one tablespoon of dried oregano, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and half a tablespoon of onion powder. Finally, add half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper. If you don't like too much heat, you can always leave it out. Then pour enough buttermilk to fully cover the chicken. Thoroughly mix the chicken through the buttermilk. We want the chicken to be fully coated in all those spices. Cover the bowl with cling wrap and let the chicken marinate in the fridge for three to four hours or even overnight. This will give the chicken some time to infuse with the spices in the buttermilk. About 20 minutes before you want to cook the chicken, light a chimney of charcoal. I'm using clean heat charcoal. It burns nice and hot and for a really long time. Like I said earlier, you can cook this on the stovetop in the kitchen. Take a pot or a deep sided pan and fill it halfway with oil. I'm using canola oil because it has a high smoking point. Heat the oil to about 350 Fahrenheit or 175 Celsius. Next we're going to make the breading. I'm using all-purpose gluten-free flour, but any all-purpose flour will do the job. Season the flour with salt and pepper, then half a tablespoon of sweet paprika, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of onion powder, then finally a tablespoon of cayenne pepper. Mix the seasoning through the flour. Now the chicken's had time to marinate, it's time to coat it with the flour. A good trick is to use one hand for the wet chicken and the other hand for the flour. This will help reduce how sticky the process becomes. Fully coat the chicken with the seasoned flour, then place it on a cooling rack. Repeat until you've coated all the chicken. A great tip is to let the chicken sit for 5-10 to 10 minutes before frying. This will help the breading stick to the chicken. When cooking with oil over charcoal or a campfire, it can be a little bit risky, so it's important to have some safety measures in place. Carefully lower the chicken into the oil. Fry the chicken for 15 to 20 minutes until fully cooked through. It's important to fry the chicken in batches, otherwise the oil will reduce in temperature and leave you with soggy chicken. Turn the chicken every 5 to 10 minutes. This will help the chicken to evenly cook on both sides. This fried chicken is looking beautifully golden brown. Once the chicken is cooked through, remove it from the oil and let it drain on a cooling rack lined with paper towel. It's important that you rest the chicken for 5 to 10 minutes after it's finished cooking. Otherwise you end up burning your mouth, which means you won't be able to enjoy all your hard work. Listen to how crispy the coating on this chicken is. There you have it, buttermilk fried chicken on the kettle barbecue. There's nothing quite like beautifully cooked fried chicken from the crunchy breading to the tender meat, it'll warm your heart. Fried chicken is pretty easy to make, but it will take some time to prep. Please check out our Patreon page to help support the channel so we can continue to bring you these delicious recipes. If you found this recipe helpful, don't forget to share it, subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and if you have any recipe suggestions, leave them in the comments.